You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight, and today we'll be featuring Women's Fund of South County. We'll be talking with founding chair Carol Palladini and chair of steering committee Sarah DeTagios. Let's start our spotlight. Thank you, Carol, for joining me today. Can you start mm -hmm. off by telling us what is the Women's Fund? Well, the Women's Fund is a fairly new kind of philanthropy, which some people may have heard of as a giving circle. It is a collection of people giving money together to have a greater impact. Okay. And in our case, we're giving in Santa Barbara, South County. As the founding chair, can you tell us how the Women's Fund got started? Yes, I can, because it was quite um, serendipitous in a way how it happened. I read about a giving circle in Los Angeles where women were doing the kind of thing that we are now doing. As soon as I read about a pure fund where just money is given and it all gets given away every year to have a real impact in the community, I said, we have to do that in Santa Barbara. So I started making some moves to try to make that happen and I went to the Santa Barbara Foundation first off. And how long ago was that? That was uh, about seven years ago. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's been a success. It was. The first year, we thought it would take us longer to get organized. We had a small committee of seven people who said, what would this kind of fund look like in Santa Barbara? And we um, sat down and said, well, this will probably take a year to do. And the more we got into it, the faster it moved, the more we agreed on it. We said, maybe we could do it this year. Mm -hmm. So we sent out a membership letter and we said, if we can just get $50,000, we could start giving it away. And we got $150,000. Wow. And that's nice just sending surprise. out a membership letter. How does the Women's Fund work? Uh, when the women get their membership letter, whether they are hearing about it for the first time or they're being asked to renew for, the, for their annual membership, um, they are asked to give $2,500. That's the cost of one membership. And we know there are many women in the community who would love to participate in this philanthropy but can't give $2,500. So we say one membership costs that amount, but it can be one woman, two women share, splitting it in half, mm. 10 women each giving $250, wow. or you could just be a contributor. So the big surprise for us was the growth of groups. We thought it would be all individual members, and the group concept just caught on like crazy. There were 40 groups now, over 40, I think. 40 groups, and how <laughs> many individuals would you say total do you have as part uh, of the Women's Fund? This year so far, and the year is not nearly over, we have up till the end of December, uh, we already have over 430 members, and we had over 400 last year too. So, Well, congratulations. We've talked about how your fund has grown in terms mm -hmm. of individuals taking part. How has it grown in other ways? Well, I'm glad you asked that. It's been very exciting because our fund was created because I heard of one in Los Angeles, and because of our fund, women in North Santa Barbara County mm -hmm. have started a women's fund of North Santa Barbara County. So the idea of these giving circles is, it, it has already spread all over the country, and we are thrilled that it's spread throughout Santa Barbara County now. Fantastic, thank you so much for talking mm -hmm. with us, Carol. You're and we'll be talking with Sarah My next. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sarah, for joining us today. Can you start off by telling us how the Women's Fund decides where the funds go? Sure. Uh, we have a very rigorous research process, and it engages our members and utilizes a volunteer research committee. It starts by our members telling us um, what issues they would like us to research, what areas of community need they think are most critical for women, children, and families in Santa Barbara, Goleta, and Carpinteria. Our volunteer research committee then selects or identifies the agencies that are doing good work in that area. And ultimately, we um, narrow that down to about three dozen agencies where we do very thorough research. We actually look at uh, each agency's mission, uh, their goals, their programs, the audiences they serve, they look at their financials, their leadership, and we even do a site visit okay. to go out and um, see their operations in person. Ultimately, that results in a ballot that is prepared by the research committee that lists agencies and programs and grant amounts that they're um, putting forward for the membership to consider. Then all of our members vote 
And then the agencies that receive the uh, most votes are the ones who are going to receive the grants, and that is announced at our annual presentation of awards luncheon in May. And what's really fun about that is that uh, our members don't know who the oh. recipients are until they actually get to the luncheon. So they voted, but they don't get to see the results until they show up, and it's a very moving, uh, terrific day. Sounds very exciting and probably a great day to show all this support. What are some of the programs that Women's Fund has helped support? Well, we have uh, funded 33 agencies uh, with more than $2.5 million uh, since we began in 2004. Our smallest grant uh, was $20,000. Our largest grant was $180,000. Wow. And our average is about $75,000. We have uh, funded a lot of well-known organizations in town. We have renovated the facilities at the Santa Barbara Rape Crisis Center and at CASA. We have provided teen programs at Girls Inc., computers and software for Santa Barbara Neighborhood Clinics and uh, for Breast Cancer Resource Center. But in addition to some of the more well-known agencies in town, we've also found some hidden little gems in the community when we've done our research. And people can uh, look at our website and see all of the 33 grants that we've made so far and description of, of them in detail, plus pictures. How would you measure the success what are some of the stories that are coming out of um, the Women's Fund for some of the, the groups that you've provided uh, for? Well, we, we try to measure our impact on kind of three levels. On one level, we're looking at uh, what impact we have on the agencies that we're supporting. Uh, we also look at what impact we're having on the people who are served by those agencies. And then we also look at what impact are we having on our members. And uh, our members tell us that they are learning a great deal about the issues in the community. And they've also said that um, they've learned a lot about the power of collective giving. They've really seen firsthand what an impact it can have to pool the funds of, of a lot of individuals more than perhaps each of us as an individual can afford to do ourselves. And the agencies, um, the kind of, of um, analysis we do of them is first we ask how many people did you serve. We've served over 40,000 uh, people in Santa Barbara, Goleta and, Cap and Carpinteria wow. since we began in 2004. Uh, but they also talk to us about the effectiveness of, of what they've actually accomplished with uh, our grants. In addition to giving us reports, you know, progress reports and final sure. reports, one of the most exciting things is a site visit that we offer to our members every year and it's an opportunity for members to, to actually get on a bus mm -hmm. and tour all of the grantees that we have just given money to six months earlier and actually see their gifts in action. So it becomes a very tangible thing. Right, it's more than on. reading the ballot and it's more than reading a report. It's actually seeing the, um, the staff and the, the leadership and the people that are being impacted by the money and so that's really been very powerful. So for someone that is interested in joining the Women's Fund, how would they go about doing that? Uh, we have a website mm -hmm. where all the information about uh, the Women's Fund is available there, plus uh, the ability to join right off the site, and that's www.womensfundsb.org. Or uh, someone can contact the Santa Barbara Foundation. They, as Carol said earlier, are our fiscal home and our partner and the wonderful people there would be happy to connect anyone who would uh, be interested in knowing more with us and, uh, and get them started. Well, thank you to Carol and to yourself, Sarah, thank and you. all of the wonderful members of the Women's Fund for all the great work you do and for helping support the wonderful nonprofits in this community. Thank you for having us. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.